Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. Okay, so Libra, it looks like um, I know you could be doubting yourself or holding yourself back. Whatever that thing you want to do in your life that scares you, scares you to the core of you, the cards say, do it. Step out of your comfort zone with your north node. So whatever is is on your, your heart and in your mind, but you're afraid. I mean, this terrifies you to actually to do it, to get out there, to put yourself out there, to do something new. Do it because you could have a lot of a, uh, you got a profit here. It could be gain. Also, you're thinking about new career aspirations going in a new direction here. You may even feel like maybe in your current direction, you're being taken advantage of, or it could be a slight disadvantage. Maybe you're not getting, getting paid as much as you think you're worth, or you don't have as much responsibility. Take that next step and go out on your own. Do something that you're so fearful of because destiny has got a, a hand in what you're really wanting to do, what you really feel is best for you. I'm going to cut my mic. You also could be waiting for some news about You might need to make an announcement. Uh, an announcement about maybe, you know, there was some turbulence, some trouble in your relationship or some specific relationship or something you were doing, maybe even some legal matters. You're waiting for the opportunity to tell yourself, the world, everybody involved that it's all done, you know, yes. It's all done away with, it, it, you know, my name is cleared or you get some positive um, result or, or settlement here. That news is coming for you. There's a lot of sorrow here in terms of maybe a relationship or something being lost. Someone feeling like there is loss here. But at the same time, not being able to see the consequences of your your decisions, your actions also. What part did you play in this? You could have been dealing with a cheater or a cheat. Maybe even a narcissistic person who couldn't choose, who found joyfulness maybe in dating, dating multiple people or dating multiple people. But this person wants to keep you in their life at some capacity because they want to marry you and they want you to have their baby, which is a contradiction, you know, which is a contradiction from being a cheater and a narcissist and not being able to choose. Also, this person is kind of aware of their lack of empathy and in apathy they would you know they're saying to you look i would say i love you but i really don't know what love is but they definitely want you in their life in some capacity and we have a new romantic cycle beginning and this card specifically talks about negotiation compromise maybe even reconsidering okay uh and this card also talks about marriage being on the table an engagement. Maybe you're personalizing all of this, these issues surrounding you here. And they want you to make sure that you are feeling more and thinking less. Because some of you are thinking that maybe you just need to move on. But the cards are saying this it's going to be a peaceful resolution where everyone gets what they want. You just have to wait here and look for a sign because there are synchronicities around you. Things are not just happening just because. 
there could be a reconciliation on the table or there could be an actual moving on. It seems as we got the the cheater, the thief, the swindler, just the peace of mind stiller here again with the sweetheart. This could be you, Libra the sweetheart, or you could be the thief. I don't know which dynamic you're on, but we have been energy of where someone feels like there's they're once again still being sold a dream, swindled here being taken advantage of slightly so there's a huge need to reconsider if they should even deal with this person if they should even maybe compromise salvage the relationship reconcile or does it make more sense to just move on in peace mentally does it make sense to just move on once again, thinking and not feeling. How do you feel? What are your feelings telling you? Feeling like you need to move on from turbulence and drama. Feeling like guilt and shame. Moving on in guilt and shame because maybe there's, this was in a public dynamic. Maybe there, you know, people know about your relationship or the infidelity or the problems or the abuse or the drama. And just feeling like you just want to move on from that. But there still is the option for marriage and maybe even babies here. A very contradicting energy. But there's somebody here who wants you to reconsider. Okay, Libra. This is your reading. I hope it resonates with you. If it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. Pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Uh, thank you, Libra. Take care. Many blessings.